I would say I usually start off the school year with absolutely no seating chart to get to know the students. And as I get to know them more, I get to say, okay, well, this particular student would benefit from a peer tutor. And so I would probably pair that student with one or two um, higher level um, scholars. Oh, and then I'll have a lot of my middles together and some of my lows together so I can hit that table. So I have like, for example, I have one table with um, two of my lower scholars and I'm able to hit that table and I get to hit three of them or two of them at a time. And so that's more efficient. Um, and then there's some blended tables also where I, I can trust my high and my medium to help my low get there and um, my medium to push my high, asking those questions, which helps them deepen their learning. Turn and talk with your table about what Bennett said. Do you agree or disagree and why? Okay, strong style hand. Strong style hand. I agree because I disagree because. No one knows. Isa, thanks for being brave. If I did my example and then I set them off on independent work, there would be a million and one questions. And so that partner practice gives them time to ask each other questions and talk back and forth about the problems. The independent work is exactly like the partner work, except now our voices are off. And so you've had, um, depending on if it's a mini lesson or a full lesson, five to eight minutes to work with the partner. Now our voices are all the way off and we're using what we learned from direct instruction and from partner work, and we're applying that in our independent practice. Why? Because the exit ticket or assessment is independently done. And so you don't want their first at-bat to be during an exit ticket. You want to get them several at-bats during independent practice before their exit slip so they can find that misconception that their partner filled in earlier. So like if I had a misconception, but I wasn't sure because you were always giving that answer. Now our voices are off, you're done giving that answer, and I need to do this all by myself. I'm like, mm, I'm a little confused. And so now I'm able to find exactly where I'm confused and then ask for help. Thank you. I have all the exit tickets. Your voice is now turned on. Hey, Tana level one, why is your voice on, Caleb? Why would you ever need to speak, Caleb? To ask a question. So you're speaking for math. Go ahead, Jackson. Um, 